Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer your Rome Research Graph into Tana and how to use it there. This is going to be super simple. It takes like 10 clicks or something. And I'm going to show you all the steps you need to take. And I'm going to show you how the translation really works and what you need to keep in mind when you do this transition. So let's get right into it. So here we are on the daily page of an example Rome graph. This is not my main full graph transitioning that worked super well, even though it's huge. Um, but for this video, I wanted to show you a small version that you can um, kind of follow along more easily and, and wrap your head around. So what do we have here? We have a daily page with links to different other pages. So December 7th last year, a project that uh, I have now marked as dropped a Twitter thread with some self referencing formatting, right? So lessons I've learned here, this is if we do this in bold, you see this is an inline block reference checklist and whatnot. We have here another page from this year with a question page following the format of the discourse graph extension. Um, here we have a little more detail with a claim relating to that question. And then this is a um, supported by alias link and then some evidence pages linked below. We'll see how that translates. Then this is an import from Readwise with attributes. So author title here, all of these are attributes in Rome. Um, this is then the tweet text and the link to the image that is used on Twitter. Again, here we have uh, question pages with different content. This is a page of a paper that I imported or I put into Rome at the very beginning of my usage of Rome. So I'm not using attributes. Everything is in one block. And then we have here a little meme uh, image that I've included. And I've included this because I wanted to show you what happens if you import a local graph where the image is only available as a local asset, right? Where this is not an image somewhere on the internet, but a local image. So that's the content that we're going to export from Rome. I think this is representative of um, quite a few use cases. And so how do we get this into Tana? First, we go here to the three dot menu in the upper right, and we select export all. It's really important that you select export all and not just export because selecting export will give you what you see at the moment as a flat export. It's not going to take all the links between the pages one, two, three layers down, right? So you want to take export all and then select JSON. You don't want to use markdown, flat markdown or EDN. Don't use these, just use JSON. So export all JSON and then click on export all. This is going to create a zip file in your downloads folder and you want to save this and then unpack that zip file on your local machine. All right, so now we are here in Tana and we're going to import what we just exported from Rome. How do we do this? We go here to the upper right to the gear menu and we select import content and then Rome. This is going to pop up this uh, little modal sheet here. And you're going to drop the JSON file that came out of the unpacked zip file from Rome, right? In Rome, you got a zip file, you unpacked this file, and that resulted in a JSON file. And this file you just drag into this. And this then gives you a little pop up the number of total nodes you're going to import leaf nodes and all the attributes and you select import. And that's going to take a couple seconds or even minutes depending on how big your graph is but is super stable um, in its import in my experience and then you have here in the sidebar a new workspace and this is really important the import from Rome to Tana 
is not going to overwrite or mess with your main graph, right? So this here is my main workspace and everything you just saw in Rome now is its own workspace. We name this uh, into Lucas Rome or what have you. And here you have a calendar node with all the daily nodes tagged as we saw in, in Rome previously. So um, this is the node for uh, January 28th with all the questions about uh, Russia, Ukraine and gas in Germany. If we go back to the one for today, we have here the links to these daily pages and then we have the links to the other pages that we had here. Let me switch to this on the Rome page that we um, saw before we exported. So if I go to this, you see a submit hosting uh, paper, project drop, Lucas, those are all links. Um, you see here tasks was an attribute in the Rome graph and now is a field. And of course the query doesn't um, translate into a live search in Tana that, that doesn't work um, this way, but you get the field, the details were just details. And so that content is there. Formatting bold is um, uh, copied over. Twitter thread, this you see works as well, right? So title and lessons I've learned. If I bold this, it's going to bold it, be bolded here. So inline references uh, work. Topics, checklist, everything is there. If we go to the page for the tweet that I imported or to the node, you see this is placed in the library. And we have here Everything that was an attribute is now a field and the highlight of course is also transported over although the image isn't shown in line as it was in Rome. That's the current state of how Tana does it at the end of October 2022. So um, that's obviously going to change as um, Tana progresses in its development and leaves uh, early access eventually. Also no formatting, no special formatting for the block quote syntax that Rome uses, but the image is there. It is linked over from the web in this case because it is um, an image in the web. It's just not shown in line here. Now going back, how can I increase my daily energy and motivation? We have here all everything that was indented under synthesis is there, themes and claims, all of that is there. The playground is something that came over from the discourse graph extension to Rome. And as you see, the main content is there, but the relationships uh, source and target and all of that, that obviously isn't linked anymore because um, this extension doesn't exist in Tana. Going back, then we have here the page for Ericsson um, for that paper. And you see here metadata was an attribute in the Rome graph. Let me switch to this really quickly, right? So this was metadata and this is now a field here in Tana. And everything in the one block in Rome is in one a node here in Tana now with links to the respective uh, pages. This is another attribute that became a field. And if I go to dyadic analysis, you see four references from Lucas Rome here in the context. And then I'm reading this to this is also backlinked, right? So backlinks, as you know, work just as in Rome, they do in, in Tana. And so that translation is really easy. Important if you're transferring a local graph is that this image is not going to get imported. So life is amazing. If I click this, this turns up a empty page because it was a local asset and it's linking to something that isn't there in the online version of Tana. So that's not going to be transported. Now, one thing you can do, of course, is that you go to your main graph and you reference the content from that workspace, right? So we talked about that Rome gets its own workspace and you can reference from that workspace. So if we say we want to have dyadic, you see nothing comes up. 
why does that not come up? Because you have to enable that capability, right? So you go to your main node and then to options and then allow content and then Lucas Rome. And now if I go to my daily notes page and I type at dyadic analysis, you see Lucas Rome library dyadic analysis. So I click on this and this now is the node as it exists in that graph. If I click on it, you see I'm in Lucas Rome library dyadic analysis and you see I have one reference from my main workspace. I can also move content to my main workspace. So if I'm here on today's node and um, let's say I want to move this Ron Conway in action, move to uh, Cortex Futura and today and I'm going there you see here now the content that was previously in my Rome graph is now moved to my main graph and this makes the transition from Rome to Tana really easy right you have it all available you can search it you can do whatever you want with it and if you want it in your main graph and work it and or rework it there that is really easy you can easily move it into your main workspace. So we talked about this and we talked about this. Pages become nodes in the library. I think um, that's become obvious without me really covering it. Ron Conway in action is now a node in the main graph. Let me <laughs> Uh, go back. So Ericsson 2014 dyadic, this is a node in the library, right? So we don't have pages in Tana, so everything is a node and kind of floating pages in Rome get put into the library um, inside Tana. Attributes become fields, we talked about that, and obviously not everything translates perfectly. You have extensions like the Discourse Graph extension or other extensions that do special things that might not translate perfectly. I can't cover all of that in, in this video, but if that happens, you kind of have to deal with this, right? The work I did with the Discourse Graph extension, I still have the QUE and CLM and EVD links for question, claim and evidence, but the semantic relationships um, aren't transported perfectly um, into Tana. I kind of have to rework that. But nevertheless, um, I think it's incredibly easy to transport your Rome graph into Tana. It really takes just, I think, under 10 clicks um, if you know what you're doing. I hope I've given you a good overview of what happens if you do this. Um, and if you have any more questions, feel free to comment below this video. If you liked this video and thought it was helpful, uh, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, um, and subscribe if you want to see more stuff on Tana. Um, I have a bunch of videos in the pipeline. And so with that, um, have fun transporting from Rome to Tana, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.